Hey the son of peeps, how's it going? So we just got the new Logic E10, GE Logic E10, and I want to go over a few cases just to show the capability of imaging on this new machine. So first case is a brain, it's a normal brain. It's a good time to show the protocol. I start all the way anterior, right by the orbits. Here, here you have the interhemisphere fissure, and then a little bit back you got the sylvian fissures, kind of not seeing it here, interhemispheric fissure, temporal lobes down here, lateral ventricles, Gave him something pellucidum, third ventricle, sylvian fissures, temporal lobes. Again, third ventricle, much clearer scene, lateral ventricles, corpus callosum. Then we go up here by the tentorium, here's the cerebellum, cori plexus, cave vergi. If you see this, put some colored Doppler on there because that could uh, appear to be a vein of gallon aneurysm, but that's not the case here. And then all the way posterior, here's your periventricular white matter uh, in the occipital lobes. Right, sagittal midline, corpus callosum. You have the rostrum, genu, body, and splenium. Splenium is always in the back. Here you got your thalamic adhesion or your midline thalamus. Third ventricle, uh, cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of sylvius. Fourth ventricle, cerebellum, anterior, posterior. Then I go to the right, show the caudothalamic groove, cauda nucleus, thalamus, um, cori plexus, and lateral ventricle. And then all the way to the lateral part of the right side, here your sylvian fissure, periventricular white matter. And then the same thing on the left, caudothalamic groove, check for bleeds in this area, and then lateral. So as you can see, these images are much very similar to what you would get with the Logic, with the Logic 9. This is with the C310, the little micro convex array probe that is just fantastic for these uh, studies. So then uh, here's the color Doppler. Um, here's trans. Then we do transverse. So this is transverse temporal. Here you can see where the circle of Willis is going to be, right there. And then mastoidal. You can see the cerebellum, fourth ventricle, a little bit of posterior fossa fluid, which is normal. Beautiful. And then I pretty much repeat everything with the the nine. Now this is the new nine. The old nine was a nine L. This is a uh, L two nine, I think. Yeah, L two nine. Uh, and I'm on the frequency of nine. And the images are just fantastic. Here you see, I have to raise the TGCs a little bit. See that difference? Good. Cori plexus are normal. Just beautiful. But it's very comparable to the the Logic 9. And then when I do the, the, the linear, then I take more parasagittal images. So you see caudothalamic groove, thalamus, cauda nucleus, more lateral. Here you have more cori plexus, occipital horn of the lateral ventricle. And then the same thing on the left. And then this is with the 24 megahertz transducer, the L24. So here you got your skin. Here you got your superior sagittal sinus. This is a thin amount of subarachnoid fluid, which is normal. And then the pia matter covering the brain. And then the, the dura matter would be around here. So remember, dura matter, arachnoid matter, pia matter. So DAP, D-A-P. And here you see the, just the, high resolution brain it's amazing and then with color and that's the the radiant flow